And here at Local 12, we love us some Ohio, some Indiana, and we love us some Kentucky, of course, as well. So when it comes to exploring everything that's great about Kentucky, we're all about that. And joining us is Michael Crisp, the author of, right here, the Kentucky Bucket List. And Michael, just conceptually, I love this idea. Where did the idea come from for the Kentucky Bucket List? Well, when you think Kentucky, one of the first things you got to think of is, is chicken and KFC. <laughs> KFC, and so, and herbs and spices, absolutely. Yeah, so I came up with the cover even before writing the book. I, I just love knew it. that that had to be that. And you, you said you had a friend who had done a, a similar book, and that sort of sprung the idea in your mind a little bit? Yeah, a good friend of mine that lives in Key West, Florida said, I've done this book called the Key West Bucket List. It's exploded down here. You should do a Kentucky bucket list since you live up there. I said, okay, I'll give it a try. And it worked out pretty well. The first thing I said <laughs> to Michael was, okay, bourbon and basketball. Those both have to be in there at some point. He said, absolutely. But yeah. tell me about, Michael, some of the other you knew we're going in the book immediately. You didn't even have to think about it. You knew if you're going to visit Kentucky, you got to get these things done. You got it. There's about 20 or 30 must have experiences in Kentucky yeah. bourbon, basketball, lots of different things like that. <laughs> yeah. Mammoth Cave, I oh, thought sure. it had to be in there. Got to be on there. Visiting the Corvette Museum. Yep. Uh, Lake Cumberland, seeing a moon bow out there, uh, which is kind of interesting. A lot of people go to Lake Cumberland, but they don't realize that you can see a moon bow like um, a rainbow. Really? Down there. Now, see, I didn't know that. I've been down there a couple of times. Yeah, it's really neat. The state has so many great uh, experiences, and so those were some of the must have experiences. But then there's some other quirky ones. I was going to say, though, you know, you have some that popped to mind immediately, but some took a little research. What did you find out, or what didn't you know that you ended up making the book? Well, about half of the different things in the book out of the hundred that were listed yeah. were things that I had heard about uh, here and there, but not, uh, you know, I just wasn't real familiar with. Yeah. One of the funnier things was there's this outhouse over at Penn's Grocery in <laughs> Gravel Switch, Kentucky. Okay. And if you Gravel Switch. Yeah. I'm not familiar <laughs> with Gravel Switch. Okay. Yeah, one of those great town names like Rabbit Hash sure, and all sure. of that, you know. And so if you go grocery shopping at that store, yeah. you cannot use indoor plumbing there. You have to use the outhouse outside, and that's one of the experiences. That's in, that's, in, the, that's in the book. Mm -hmm. And I love in, in the back, too, is you actually, first, you know, each page sort of has its own entry, but then when you get to the back, you got the checklist, right? Yeah. And you can go through and kind of check things off as you go. What in here, is there anything in here you haven't done yet that you want to make sure and do? One of the main things is trying to find a ghost at Bobby Mackey's oh, Music World. Oh, yeah. And I'm getting to do that tomorrow night. Oh, well, that'll be fantastic. You're going to be down yeah. there, you're going to be signing some copies? Definitely, yes. Great. So I'm excited about that. I'd like to encourage lots of folks to come out to that and, uh, and help me look for a ghost. What time are you going to be down there? I'll be down there at 9, although doors open at 8. Excellent. And mm -hmm. if folks can't make it down, but they want to get a copy of the book, what's the best way for them to do that? Best way is just go to Amazon.com or Kentucky Bucket. Bucketlist.com. Excellent. Michael, thank you so much for Great. coming in. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. It is the Kentucky Bucket List, and there are some, uh, there are some good ones in there. Uh, again, Michael, thank you very much. We'll